First day of school for the state's largest district is August 22nd. This morning, Springfield Public School Superintendent Granita Lathan delivered her state of the school's address to outline the district's strategic plan before classes get underway. Joe Hickman has the details. With more than 24,000 students and 3,500 employees, one of the main goals of Missouri's largest school district outlined at today's state of the school presentation is improving Springfield Public Schools attendance that has never fully recovered since the pandemic. We have attendance advisors that will make home visits to ensure that we can get our students to school on time every day. We also plan to address discipline to, with a focus on ensuring that our teachers and our principals have the resources that they need. I encourage our parents to be on the lookout the first day of school. We're sending a hard copy home of our student handbook. We want them to read that handbook to make sure that they understand what the rules are as it relates to being a student in SPS. More than 350 business and community leaders gathered at the new Jarrett Middle School for the Chamber of Commerce sponsored event where the theme for the upcoming school year was announced as SPS United, a rather ironic title considering the mounting division in the Springfield Board of Education, which started with a contentious decision over COVID masking last year and continued with more politicized issues after changes in membership that's included refusing to make a statement of support for LGBTQ students and employees removing a member's vice president for her alleged behavior at a student mental health seminar, and scaling back the use of technology by students. But, and getting together to address the district's strategic plan going forward, the message is one of agreed upon goals. SPS United simply means we are united as a team. We have four governing priorities where we're focused on success ready students, organizational efficiency, collaborative culture, and safe learning environments. Lathan also pointed to the many positives for the district right now, from the addition of new programs like the Flight School to the April passage of $220 million in new funding for district wide improvements, from new or upgraded school buildings to storm shelters, approved by 77% of voters. And as for helping student performance. Last year we implemented a universal screener where we assessed our students three times a year. We wanted to find out throughout the course of a school year were we able to grow that student academically. Also our before and after school care called SHINE. We will continue to provide resources for the upcoming school year for our staff and our families. Reporting for KY3, I'm Joe Hickman.